Welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your label list. First of all, this area over here with all of my labels underneath my inbox is called my label list. As some of you have noticed previously, my label list looks a little bit different than yours. So I'm going to show you how you can organize yours. So we're going to click on this gear here and then click on settings then click on labels. So here you can see all the labels that you're provided. This includes the standard ones like inbox, starred, important, and down here you can find all the labels that you've created. So under this column called show and label list, I have the option to show or hide my labels. So I find that starred and important are two of the most important labels, so I'm going to leave those as show. But I don't find chats as particularly important, so I'm going to click hide. When I click hide, it will immediately disappear from my label list. And if you look at drafts, I have the option to show, hide, or show if unread. This means that as long as the label has an unread message in there, it will show up in the label list. So I'm going to click show if unread, and I'm also going to hide spam and trash. Down here I have all of my Google Plus circles. If I want to show just one or two of these, I need to make sure that circles is selected as show. But I'm going to hide friends, family, and leave Google, following, and guru as show. So you can see those three right here. The show and message list column determines whether or not these messages will show up in my inbox. So for example, if I click show for friends and then go back to my inbox, I'll see this message here that wasn't there previously with this friends label on there. But I don't really want those messages in my inbox. I just wanted to show you guys what this feature right here did. So then I'll continue down to my custom labels. So these are all pretty important to me. So I'm going to leave these all as show. And I'm also going to leave the show and message list for all of these. So when I'm done making changes to my labels, all I have to do is just return back to my inbox and all the changes are saved. I really like using this because it's a great way to just make sure that only the important information is available in my Gmail inbox. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment in the section below. Thanks.